Hey guys, welcome back in this series of tutorial on Raspberry Pi and Arduino programming. So where we left last time in this uh, series of tutorial, we basically built a Raspberry Pi or uh, chatbot application, right? That could be running on a Raspberry Pi as a server. So to implement that, we basically use this Python uh, API, a Telegram API uh, to put our Python script together. And the uh, bot father here, is the one that help us to basically uh, create a chat ID and put things together so that we can interact. So for those of you who just caught this in the middle, this is basically how it works. I'm going to give it a quick run here to basically run the Python script. Now, as the Python script start up, it's running. So you got a SimTech bot is watching. He's basically watching this uh, chat bot here to see who's going to write a message. Now, no one is writing, so the bot is starting to type. As the bot types something, you can see it said, Please subscribe to SimTech channel. You bet the bot is right. You need to subscribe to SimTech channel and give this tutorial a thumbs up. And we can see that there is uh, a notification that pop up here. Now, I'm going to write something uh, because the bot here is able to also respond to messages. So, I'm just going to say user right and the bot would quickly respond to me by saying hi from simtech in the meantime he's also able to type so it's a multi-facet interaction happening here so every time i write something uh, the bot is going to respond with a message with a greeting now this is just a blueprint application obviously a lot of things can be done here but now in this quick tutorial here we're going to just add some basic functionality to this application as you can see what we've got here this is an arduino uh, there is an arduino board and there is an lcd add-on on it as the name implies this is a raspberry pi and arduino fusion tutorial so basically everything we do an arduino must always be in the picture so here what i want to do is basically the bot here must detect when there is an arduino connected onto the raspberry pi and the bot must send a notification into the chat group that hey we've got an arduino that is connected and uh, that arduino might be sending us some weather data or anything of that sort so we have to be able to get the notification from the bot to tell us what is happening okay so without any further delay so this is what's going to happen here i've got a script here an arduino script that we basically going to write into the Arduino uh, board. That script will basically accept uh, data coming from the Raspberry Pi as a notification that the bot will also send. Those of you who've been watching this series of tutorial uh, on the Raspberry Pi and Arduino programming, to complete this uh, task here, you need to refresh your mind with the tutorial part four uh, named as debugging the serial port so that is on the arduino pi serial communication tutorial so i'm going to open the python script we use on that tutorial which is serial comms so basically in this serial comms that pi script we just have a function here that is connecting to the arduino serial port and after connecting, we were able to then send data via the serial communication to our Arduino here, which we also configured to be able to catch the data coming from the Raspberry Pi. So that is a tutorial that we're going to basically uh, recall so that we can uh, just make this quick interaction here. Now, let me just stop this Python script for the SimTech bot application because we're being filled with please subscribe to SimTech channel. I hope all of you, you've already subscribed to the channel. So let's go ahead and stop this so we can stop receiving messages. So now we've got these serial comms here that we're going to basically uh, modify. Right, so I've renamed the script as a Telegram notification. So we're just going to modify this script here. Now we've got two uh, approach here. The one approach is basically to uh, implement the serial connection initialization and bring it into this chatbot program here. Then we basically can run our chatbot. And the second approach is to basically just work around this serial 
connection initialization script where we can basically just import the telegram api here and do all the necessary settings to initialize just a simple interaction with our uh, group chat here because we already have all the informations available so i think this is going to be the easiest approach uh, rather than to envelope these uh, script into this uh, telegram bot application here so let's get going without any further ado here so let's go ahead and copy uh, the telegram api so that we can also import it here from telegram import bot and then we also need to uh, basically just copy the setting to create our bot so I'm going to uh, go ahead and just copy this uh, line of script and let's choose where we want to basically paste it. So let's just paste it here. Okay, so we're going to have it there. The next thing here is to basically create the board and pass it a token. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this here because we've done this work already. And uh, if you are not familiar with this work, please go ahead and watch the previous tutorial uh, on the Telegram port application. Now, because we need to send messages to this particular chat group, so we need to have that uh, chat ID. So I'm going to basically just create uh, another variable here that is going to hold the chat ID. So I need to come here and find the chat ID. Here is a chat ID that we actually need when we are sending the message into the particular chat. So uh, whichever ID you put here, that is where your message is going. So let's go ahead and paste this in there. So that basically means we've got the chat id setup now what we want to do here is basically when we uh, establish a serial communications based on this tutorial we basically were printing arduino connected and we're not going to print arduino connected anymore what we're now going to do is we basically going to send uh, a message to uh, into the chat group here that the Arduino board have been connected. And to send a message, we're going to use this function here that is basically sending a message uh, we start receiving. Now, note that this function uh, is also able to actually send message to the serial port where the Arduino script here is going to catch that same message and we're going to display that message onto the LCD screen here. So what we're going to do is because the bot here need to send a text. So I'm going to copy uh, this text here. That's the bot is basically sending. And let's paste that in, at, uh, in the right place. So where are we going to paste it? So let's go ahead and basically just paste it here. Okay. And we already have the chat ID. So I'm going to remove this and just write chat id and the text that we want to send is going to be the same text that we're going to send via the serial port so i'm going to create another variable here that i'm going to basically say text is equal so now this is the message and we're changing this message into we're going to say we know connected okay so Duino connected, that is the message that we're basically going to send. And here we can just pass the variable text. So here into the data that we are basically sending, we're then going to add the message, okay? That is text plus our new line symbol still need to be there, even though it's not important for this application. But uh, nevertheless, we need it so that the Arduino here can know that, okay, you've received all the messages from the serial line. Okay, so now uh, I'm sure this application should be able to, to run. Let's go ahead and write this uh, script here. This is a simple script that we've used on our previous tutorial. So just to write it into the board so it's in there. Now you can see there is nothing being displayed on the screen. 
we are only going to get something on the screen when the serial communications are being established between the Arduino here. So, so the bot is going to detect that the Arduino is connected and then he's going to send a message. Only then we can then receive the message on our group chat here and also onto the Arduino script. So let's go ahead and run this and see if indeed uh, something is okay. We've got a problem. So what does it say? Uh, on line 55, uh, invalid syntax. Okay, we've got an invalid syntax here. Mm, okay, well, we are missing for something here. We're missing for something there. Uh, let's go ahead and run this again because we need that comma to separate because this send message is basically a function that is taking two variables. So if you miss that comma, you're going to have problems. So now it should be able to run. Okay, you can see the Duino. Okay, let's see. We are getting message Duino connected. Ah, on the board, we are also getting Duino connected. So it seems like everything is working as we wanted it to work. So this is basically it. Uh, quite a very simple application as you guys can see. But uh, it is important to note that this application is not, uh, it's independent of this main bot application here. Let me just put a stop on it. Because when that application was running, if you uh, write a message, let me just run it again. When that application is running, if you send a message, a uh, user, right, you're not going to get a response. All you get is do not connected, right? That's basically because we, we don't have the main Telegram port application that we wrote is running. Okay, that's what I spoke earlier on. So, but it's very easy to basically implement that running. So right now we only have a simple chatbot application that's basically just sending notification into this chat group. So if you want to implement a full application that we are the uh, chatbot also answering messages to users, you basically just have to wrap uh, this application, this script here around this, basically by importing all the settings and configuration we did here. And that will be enough to basically have uh, the chatbot interacting with users while also giving notification about the status of the Arduino board. So that is it guys for this tutorial. If you find it useful, don't forget to do what the chatbot said earlier. That is to subscribe to SimTech channel and give this tutorial a thumbs up. Until next time, stay tuned for more tutorial like this. Cheers.